Hey, I'm Patrick Caden with the Kentucky Gun Company, and we're at Media Day at the range at the SHOT Show. I got Gary here, and Gary has a brand new rifle from Thompson Center. Gary, tell us a little bit about this rifle. Sure, Patrick. Uh, this is what we call our Dimension Rifle. It's a whole new platform for us. It's a modular interchangeable uh, rifle platform that allow the shooter to change not only the caliber of the weapon, but the whole cartridge platform. Uh, right now, we can go from a 204 Ruger all the way up to a 300 Win Mag class cartridge. I can walk you through some quick steps right here, show you how simple it is to uh, change this barrel out. Well, what we'll do here is we'll go, right now this weapon set up for 300 Win Mag. We've got a set up here for 223. We'll show you what's involved to change that. Okay. Uh, the weapon is shipped with these two tools here. We, these are the tools I use to take the weapon apart. This is something that's brand new for 2012 too, correct? Right. We just, we just started this, yep. Loosen your stock screws here. Screws are captured so they won't fall out. U.S. made? That's correct. 100% U.S. made. Lifetime warranty? Yes, it is. And it actually, I believe we're, we're actually guaranteeing uh, accuracy on these as well. I believe one minute. So they got a modular rifle that you're going to guarantee accuracy. Correct. Uh, one of the couple of unique features here, it's actually an aluminum receiver. When we take it apart, we'll show you. Uh, but it does have steel bedding. There's a steel barrel extension here, so we're bedding on the steel here. There's a steel insert in the back here, which made up to some molded in steel inserts in the receiver, both four and a half. So it is also bedded on steel, not just a polymer stock. Always improves accuracy. Absolutely. And it's also important for us because when we, you're, you're swapping an action in and out, you want it to be as repeatable as possible. So. Sure, and you said aluminum, aluminum right. receiver. And I, I picked this up before we started filming, and this thing is Yeah, this is light. very light. So we take our first disassembly tool here. We screw this right into the lower receiver there. And you'll see that it's marked T and L for tighten and loosen. And essentially what we have here is a gear drive. So we put it in loosen. Uh, cool. Again, these, these tools just come with the rifle. These, the tools come with the white right, that's correct. Loosen your barrel nut. You remove this. Now your barrel will come right out. You see, here's your barrel extension right here, your steel barrel extension. So the bolt, and the bolt's locking into the steel barrel extension. Awesome. Similar in an AR style rifle. Yeah. So, I mean, without, you know, obviously there's nothing there. It's very light. Oh, um, oversized boat, similar, what's some, somewhat similar to the Icon. Yeah, very similar to an Icon bolt. It's one piece bolt design. And actually, what we do here, if you look at, this, is, this happens to be a 223 bolt here. Uh, we, we, we limit the stroke of the bolt by the slot here, which allows us to use one style receiver, but shorten the stroke for various cartridges. Okay. All the families of cartridges are marked with a letter, A, B, C, D, so they match up. You know you can never have an unsafe combination. You see this barrel is marked D, so it gotcha. goes with a D bolt, but they're actually, you're unable to put a D bolt in an A b barrel extension. Awesome. So to go back to a 223 here, it's simply the reverse. Simply changing caliber. Put your barrel in. When is production going to start on these? Uh, it started right now. Okay. The rifle is in production. Got an MSRP on this? I believe it's in the, in the 599 range. Okay. It should complete. Another unique feature here, which uh, when you put the rifle back together, this is actually a torque wrench as well. So you put it in a tighten slot. Gotcha. Put this snug. You'll actually feel it click over. Oh, gotcha. Similar to torque wrench in an automotive tile torque wrench. So that way you know it's tight enough. It's always the same torque when you put this back together, which is important for keeping the zero when you start swapping barrels. Your 223 bolt. I know. I was to put our bolt in. The other thing that we need to do is change out the magazine. Each caliber has an adapter if we do change a cartridge length. Gotcha. And they're Again, they're marked, marked as well. You'll see D is marked with a D magazine. Awesome. So we put our A adapter in. Action back in the stock. 
So essentially now a guy could go to a, uh, you know, go on a hunting trip to Alaska where he's going to hunt big game and maybe varmints uh, or smaller game and take sure, one you rifle hunt, with multiple barrel combinations. Sure, you could hunt big game during the day, coyotes at night. This is actually will torque your stock screw as well, again, helping to keep that bedding where it needs to be. And again, you cannot over tighten it because you got the torque. No over tightening. Put your mag in. There's your mag. Um, again, the mag's properly marked too. Everything, yeah, all the calibers are marked. So just match the letters and you're good to go. Awesome. So we're we'll be able to shoot this? Yeah, we've got a 223 right on the range here that's ready to go. Okay. Scoped up and ready. Let's go shoot this guy. All right, Gary just explained the features of the new Thompson Center Dimension. Here's a couple other things I just want to point out before we shoot it. You notice you can adjust the length of pull just by simply installing more shims into the stock. And this is a completely free floating barrel too, which is always helps accuracy. So let's shoot this guy. We got 223. Again, we got our properly sized mag. All right. First shots out of the new dementia. Three shots. Nice rifle. Expect a little bit more detailed test on this once we get one in the store, but this is the first time you've ever seen this rifle. This rifle will be on shelves probably within the next six months, and you definitely see it on our website at k5gunco.com.